Today I am repairing a Samsung Plasma, I believe it's a 50 inch TV. Let me show you the model number. This will also be added in the description below. But what it's doing is it's got the uh, continuous power cycle problem. And I will plug it in and show you. You hear a click on and uh, 10, 15 or, 10 or 15 or so seconds later it just starts uh, cycling it will click back off again and then click back on again uh, that whole time while the the red power light just blinks and these uh, green lights here do some flashing and stuff too and they're here to uh, kick back on and off again this TV seems to be plagued with at least three common issues one being the power supply and when that goes bad it seems like it just doesn't power up at all the Y main also seems to go out. In that case, I don't believe they'll even try to turn on. Uh, and then also the, uh, the main board. The main board also is a common issue. And when the main board is bad, it will power cycle on and off, just like it's doing right now. So I went ahead and ordered the Shop Jimmy repair kit. Uh, and when you're ordering the repair kit, you need to get the number off of this barcode tag, right? See if I can get this in focus. There we go, the BN94 number. That is what you'll need to order the proper kit. And uh, here's, I'll show you the Shop Jimmy kits that are available uh, for the power supply, Y main, and the main board. But I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this main board kit. And also before I forget, this TV did have four bad capacitors. Uh, two bulging capacitors on the power supply here and uh, two on the Y main. Uh, this capacitor here and this one here were bulged. Uh, the original capacitors are the uh, sham wow and they just don't uh, don't seem to last. Before I remove the chip I just double check its orientation and this board here has a little white triangle for pin one. We are replacing IC 101 and capacitor 102. This ice, this chip here has a heat sink under it, so it's going to take some heat to get it to come up. Probably should have, you know, probably should be using bottom heat, but I'll just go to town here with the hot air. This part, uh, this first chip I'm replacing, seems to be the one that's responsible for the power uh, cycling. The other chip that this kit comes with is just the audio chip. I don't think this is having audio problems, but they recommend you just replace everything anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. But I will say it is nice that uh, Shop Jimmy does some of the R&D for you. They, they find out what it needs and they sell it in a kit for a reasonable price. It's you know, less than $20 shipped and you get the parts you need. It's being good. I have trapped it in this. Yeah, this chip is being stubborn because of that uh, heat sink pad under it. Now normally, I don't like working on plasmas, but this TV is free. It's hard to say no to free. I should be really stubborn. I think uh, plasma TVs are kind of like a, an automatic transmission. Nobody really knows how they work versus uh, the LCD slash LED TVs are pretty simple, easy to understand. Man, this chip is really taking a lot of heat. 
I guess if you do have bottom heat and you can do this, that might be the thing to do. Yeah, I don't like how much heat this is taking. this nasty old solder. Hope there wasn't any collateral damage with all that heat. Alright, let me get up my big gun here. The tips I keep on my little hackle usually aren't quite beefy enough for doing these big pads. up one pad for the capacitor and to get just the perfect amount on that heat sink pad. You don't want too much. You don't want too little because you want it to conduct the heat. Did I mention this chip is a voltage regulator that I'm replacing? Uh, here's a part number off of it. And it comes up as a voltage regulator. That's EIC 101, I guess, is responsible for the power cycling. And I just hate it when Flux gets on the any tweezers. All right, let's get this blasted with heat one more time. <clears throat> and I'm double checking the orientation. Got that white arrow. to pin one. This should go on a little bit easier since I'm using leaded solder. I'm pretty sure the original, oh yeah, that's already, already melting good. I'm sure the original solder was uh, probably lead free. Okay, feels pretty good. And then, uh, let's go ahead and get this capacitor on. I'm going to double check it under the microscope. Here's a new regulator and capacitor soldered on. And uh, let me just see if I can get the old chip in the view there. So here's the bottom of the old chip, and you can see it's got that big heat sink uh, pad on it. Now for the audio chip. Here is the first power on. I sure hope it's not dramatic. Uh, please no smoke. Hmm, clicked on right away. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Let's see. Ooh, chime music. That's a good sign. Let's see what that red light's doing. Stop blinking. Do we have an image? Hard to tell if we have an image or not. Hmm. Got some weird sparkly things going on, though. That's not good. Here's the audio chip installed. Unfortunately, my phone died while I was recording the uh, installation of this chip, but it put up a fight a little bit. I ended up having to, uh, I installed it, tested it. I was getting weird audio popping and stuff, so I came back, pulled the chip, and I'll put it back on a second time. So hopefully now this will be a good take, and I'm gonna test it again in the TV. Here is the TV after the shop Jimmy kit has been installed. It is back up and working. 
Now this TV did have a, a little bit of the plasma sparkle pixelation to it on black screens. After it warmed up, it went away. I did check all the, the panel voltages that are uh, labeled on the back of the panel. Um, they were all about a half a volt low, but I think that would still be within spec being that we're talking about 205 volts and higher voltages. Um, it doesn't like the color green too much. There's a little bit of artifacting. Oh, let's see if I can get a stand green in the bottom corner there, but you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. It looks good enough to me. Let me put it on the black screen and I can show you that. Uh, pixelation is well gone now, now that it's warmed up. But uh, yeah, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.